100 Advanced English Expressions to Sound Like a Native Speaker In the limelight, the center of attention or focus. After winning the competition, she was in the limelight for weeks. Hit the nail on the head. Precisely explained or addressed in a situation or problem. His analysis of the economic crisis hit the nail on the head. A blessing in disguise. Something that initially appears negative but results in a positive outcome later. Losing my job turned out to be a blessing in disguise. It pushed me to start my own business. On cloud nine, be extremely happy. When she got accepted into her dream university, she was on cloud nine. On the same wavelength, share similar opinions, thoughts or understanding with someone. They always seem to be on the same wavelength when discussing scientific theories. Have a chip on your shoulder. Holding a grudge against someone. Ever since he was rejected, he's had a chip on his shoulder. Go the extra mile. Make more effort beyond what is expected. She always goes the extra mile to ensure her projects are perfect. Keep your chin up. Don't become discouraged or negative because something bad happened to you. Even after the setback, she kept her chin up and continued with determination. A piece of cake. Very easy or effortless. The exam was a piece of cake. I finished it in half the time. Burn the midnight oil. Work late into the night. He burned the midnight oil to finish his assignment before the deadline. Have a whale of a time. Have a great or enjoyable time. We had a whale of a time at the music festival last weekend. Turn a blind eye. Ignore or pretend not to notice something. The teacher turned a blind eye to the students quietly talking during the test. On thin ice. Be in a risky or precarious situation. He knew criticizing his boss was risky and it felt like he was on thin ice. Read between the lines. Understand the hidden or implied meaning in a conversation or text. She's good at reading between the lines and understanding people's true intentions. Cost an arm and a leg. Very expensive. The new designer bag cost an arm and a leg, so I couldn't afford it. In hot water. In trouble or facing difficulties. He was in hot water after forgetting his wife's birthday. A drop in the ocean or a drop in the bucket. A very small part of something much larger. Their donation was generous, but it was just a drop in the ocean compared to what's needed. Caught red-handed. Caught in the act of doing something wrong. The thief was caught red-handed with the stolen goods. Break the ice. Initiate social contact in a situation where there's tension or awkwardness. Initiate means to start. Playing a game helped break the ice at the conference and soon everyone was chatting. Call it a day. Decide to finish work for the day. It's getting late. Let's call it a day and continue tomorrow. In the same boat. Be in the same situation or predicament as someone else. We're all struggling with the workload. We're in the same boat. A game changer. Something that significantly improves a situation. The new technology was a game changer in the medical field. Bury the hatchet. A hatchet is an axe. Make peace or end a conflict. After years of fighting, they finally decided to bury the hatchet and reconcile. Blow your own trumpet. Boast 
or praise yourself excessively. Boast is to brag. He is always blowing his own trumpet about his achievements. Steal someone's thunder. Take attention or praise away from someone else. His announcement stole the speaker's thunder at the event. Bite the bullet. Face a difficult situation with courage. He decided to bite the bullet and confront his fear of public speaking. A tough nut to crack. A difficult problem or person to understand or deal with. Her shy nature makes her a tough nut to crack. Give someone the benefit of the doubt. Believe someone's statement without proof or evidence. Despite the suspicion, I decided to give him the benefit of the doubt. Hit the ground running. Start something immediately with a lot of energy. She started her new job and hit the ground running, completing all her tasks on the first day. A shot in the dark. An attempt that is unlikely to succeed or a random guess. This is such a difficult question. I'll just take a shot in the dark and guess. Kick the bucket. An informal way to say someone died or passed away. He wants to travel the world before kicking the bucket. Beat around the bush. Avoid talking directly about an issue. Stop beating around the bush and tell me what happened. A wolf in sheep's clothing. Someone who appears harmless but is actually dangerous or deceitful. He seemed friendly but he was actually a wolf in sheep's clothing. Face the music. Accept the consequences of your own actions. After making the mistake, he knew he had to face the music. Butter someone up. Praise or flatter someone in order to gain their favor. He tried to butter up his boss to get a promotion. Elephant in the room. An obvious problem or issue that people avoid discussing. The financial crisis was the elephant in the room during the meeting. Throw in the towel. To give up or surrender. After numerous failed attempts, he decided to throw in the towel. Go the whole nine yards. Make a complete effort or do everything possible. She planned the party and went the whole nine yards with decorations, food and entertainment. Out of the woods. Be out of a difficult or dangerous situation. The patient recovered well and was finally out of the woods. To go down in flames. Fail spectacularly or disastrously. The new product launch went down in flames due to poor marketing. At a crossroads. Be at a point where an important decision must be made. After graduation, she found herself at a crossroads in her life. A dark horse. A person with hidden abilities or qualities that is not known by others. He was a dark horse in the competition, surprising everyone with his talent. See eye to eye. Agree or have the same opinion. They rarely see eye to eye on political issues. Jump on the bandwagon. Join a popular trend or activity. Many teenagers jumped on the bandwagon by getting that haircut. Play devil's advocate. Argue the opposite viewpoint for the sake of discussion. She played the devil's advocate during the debate, challenging everyone's opinions. A fish out of water. Feel uncomfortable or out of place in a particular situation. Moving to a new country made her feel like a fish out of water. Cool as a cucumber. Remain calm and composed especially in stressful situations. Even during the crisis, he was as cool as a cucumber. Have bigger fish to fry. Have more important or pressing matters to deal with. I can't worry about minor issues. I have bigger fish to fry right now. Bringing home the bacon. Earn a living or provide financial support for a family. She works hard to bring home the bacon for her family.
a dime a dozen, something that is very common or easy to find. In that area, coffee shops are a dime a dozen. Go against the grain. Act or think differently from the majority. His unconventional approach went against the grain of traditional methods. Leave no stone unturned. Make every possible effort to find or achieve something. They left no stone unturned in their search for the missing keys. Fall on deaf ears. Ignored or disregarded by others. Her complaints fell on deaf ears. No one paid attention to her. In the driving seat, in control or a leading position. After the promotion, she found herself in the driving seat of the project. Cut corners. Do something in the easiest or quickest way, often sacrificing quality. They cut corners to finish the project on time, but the quality suffered. Burn bridges, damage relationships or connections, making it impossible to go back. Quitting without notice will burn bridges with the company. A tough cookie, someone who is strong and determined in difficult situations. Dealing with the illness made her a tough cookie. Throw caution to the wind. Take risks without considering the consequences. She threw caution to the wind and traveled alone to a remote place. Take it with a grain of salt. Be skeptical about something or not completely believe it. I take his promises with a grain of salt. He tends to exaggerate. Exaggerate means to make it bigger than it really is. A breath of fresh air. Someone or something that is new, different and refreshing. His ideas were a breath of fresh air in the otherwise routine meeting. Caught between a rock and a hard place. In a situation where there are no good choices. She was caught between a rock and a hard place when both options seemed unfavorable. Put your foot in your mouth. Say something embarrassing or tactless. He put his foot in his mouth by making an inappropriate joke. Get your act together. Organize yourself or start behaving more responsibly. After failing the test, he knew he had to get his act together and study harder. Go off the deep end. React in an extreme or irrational way. After the news, he went off the deep end and started yelling. Up in arms, very angry or upset about something. The community was up in arms over the proposed construction project. On the ball, attentive, efficient and quick to react. She's always on the ball with her work, never missing a deadline. Throwing out the baby with the bath water. Disregard something valuable while getting rid of something undesirable. In trying to simplify the process, they threw the baby out with the bath water. Take the bull by the horns. Face a problem directly and decisively. She took the bull by the horns and confronted her fears. Take it with a pinch of salt. Skeptical about something or not completely believe it. He tends to exaggerate. Take what he says with a pinch of salt. Turn the tables. Change a situation, offer in your favor. With his clever argument, he turned the tables on his opponent. In the loop, informed or included in a group's information or plans. As the project manager, she needs to be in the loop about all the decisions they make. Bite of more than you can chew. Take on a task that is too big or difficult to manage. She bit off more than she could chew by taking on multiple projects simultaneously. A bitter pill to swallow. Something that is difficult or unpleasant to accept. Admitting failure was a bitter pill to swallow for him. Put all your eggs in one basket. Rely heavily on a single resource or plan. Investing all your money in one stock is like putting all your eggs in one basket. 
Killing two birds with one stone. Accomplish two tasks with a single action. By studying in the library, she killed two birds with one stone. She completed her assignment and prepared for the test. Let the cat out of the bag. Reveal a secret or confidential information. She accidentally let the cat out of the bag about the surprise party. The apple of someone's eye. Someone's favorite or most cherished person. Her youngest daughter is the apple of her eye. Beating someone to the punch. Do something before someone else does it. He wanted to propose the idea, but she beat him to the punch and presented it first. At wit's end, extremely frustrated or perplexed about what to do in a situation. Perplexed is like confused. After trying multiple solutions, she was at her wit's end with the technical issue. The icing on the cake. Additional bonus or enhancement to an already good situation. The beautiful sunset was the icing on the cake during their beach vacation. Get the ball rolling. Start or initiate a process or activity. He made the first donation to get the ball rolling for the charity event. Turning over a new leaf. Make a fresh start or change for the better. After his recovery, he turned over a new leaf and adopted a healthier lifestyle. Let sleeping dogs lie. Avoid stirring up old conflicts or problems. He decided to let sleeping dogs lie and didn't bring up their past arguments. Get cold feet. Suddenly become nervous or anxious about something previously planned. Before the bungee jump, he got cold feet and decided not to do it. Go back to the drawing board. Start over from the beginning due to a failed or unsatisfactory result. After receiving negative feedback, they had to go back to the drawing board with their design. Be all ears, paying attention and ready to listen. When the professor started discussing the topic, the students were all ears. Having a heart of gold. Kind, generous and compassionate. Despite facing hardships, she had a heart of gold and always helps others. A penny pincher. Someone who is very careful with money and unwilling to spend it. He's a penny pincher and never buys anything unless it's absolutely necessary. Busy as a bee. Very busy or industrious. She's been as busy as a bee preparing for the upcoming event. Give someone the cold shoulder. Intentionally ignore or be unfriendly towards someone. After the argument, she gave him the cold shoulder for weeks. Have your heart in the right place. Have good intentions or a good character despite mistakes or shortcomings. Even though he makes mistakes, his heart is in the right place. Fit as a fiddle in excellent physical health. Despite his age, he's as fit as a fiddle and goes jogging every morning. Off the beaten track in a remote or less well-known location. Their vacation cabin is off the beaten track, far away from the city. Have a lot on your plate. Have a lot of tasks or responsibilities to manage. Between work and family, she has a lot on her plate. Have the upper hand. Have control or an advantage in a situation. Despite the setbacks, our team still has the upper hand. A sight for sore eyes. A welcome or pleasant sight especially after a difficult or tiring experience. Seeing her after a long trip was a sight for sore eyes. A pain in the neck, annoying or troublesome. Dealing with a difficult customer is a pain in the neck. Under the weather, feeling unwell or not in good health. I won't be able to attend the meeting. I'm feeling under the weather. Get off on the wrong foot. Start a relationship or situation badly or awkwardly. They got off on the wrong foot when they first met, but they eventually became friends. Bury your head in the sand. Avoid or ignore unpleasant realities. Instead of facing the issue, 
he buried his head in the sand and hoped it would go away. 100 English expressions every English learner should know. It goes without saying. Something that is so obvious it doesn't need to be mentioned. It goes without saying that hard work is essential for success. Needless to say. Similar to it goes without saying. Used to introduce something obvious. Needless to say. Studying is crucial for passing exams. To put it bluntly. To state something directly and honestly. Often without sugar. Coating. To put it bluntly, your performance needs improvement. To be perfectly honest, used to start a candid or sincere statement. To be perfectly honest, I didn't enjoy the movie. As a matter of fact, used to emphasize that something is true or correct. As a matter of fact, I do know the answer. By and large, generally speaking, taking everything into account. By and large, the project was a success. In a nutshell, to summarize something in a concise manner. In a nutshell, the book is about love and friendship. To cut a long story short. To get to the point without unnecessary details. To cut a long story short, we missed the train. The ball is in your court. The next decision or action is up to you. I've given you all the information. Now the ball is in your court. Don't beat around the bush. Don't avoid the main topic. Be direct. Please don't beat around the bush. Just tell me what you think. It's neither here nor there. Something is not relevant or doesn't matter. Whether we eat at home or a restaurant, it's neither here nor there for me. Let's play it by ear. To decide or act spontaneously without a fixed plan. We don't have a schedule, so let's play it by ear. The devil is in the details. The important or difficult parts are hidden in the specifics. Writing a contract is easy, but the devil is in the details. Actions speak louder than words. What people do is more important than what they say. She promised to help, but her actions speak louder than words. The proof is in the pudding. The results or evidence will show if something is good or effective. We'll see if our strategy works. The proof is in the pudding. Don't cry over spilled milk. Don't dwell on past mistakes. Yes, we made a mistake, but there's no use crying over spilled milk. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Don't risk everything on a single opportunity. It's wise to diversify your investments. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. It's a double-edged sword. Something that has both positive and negative consequences. Technology is a double-edged sword. It connects us but can also isolate us. You can't have your cake and eat it too. You can't enjoy two conflicting things at the same time. You want a day off and a raise? You can't have your cake and eat it too. It's a slippery slope. An action or decision that can lead to increasingly negative consequences. Allowing exceptions in this rule could be a slippery slope. I concur. I agree with your statement. I think we should proceed with the project. I concur. I beg to differ. I respectively disagree with your statement. I believe this plan will work. I beg to differ. It has too many risks. I'm of the same mind. I share the same opinion or viewpoint. I think we should invest in technology. I'm of the same mind. That's a valid point. You've made a reasonable and logical argument. We should prioritize customer feedback. That's a valid point. I see where you're coming from. I understand your perspective or viewpoint. I believe we need more training. I see where you're coming from, but I disagree. I'm inclined to agree. I'm leaning toward agreement, but not entirely sure. The data supports this decision. I'm inclined to agree, pending further analysis. I can't argue with that. I can't find fault or disagreement with your statement. This solution is cost effective. I can't argue with that. It's a good choice. I'm not entirely convinced. I have doubts or reservations about your statement. This proposal is the best option. I'm not entirely convinced. We need more data. I have reservations about that. I have concerns or doubts about your suggestion. We should hire the candidate. I have reservations about that. Their experience is limited. I'm skeptical. I doubt the truth or feasibility of your statement. The product will revolutionize the market. I'm skeptical. It faces strong competition. Have you considered? Have you thought about? We need a backup plan. Have you considered what we do in case of failure? It might be worth considering 
considering. It could be beneficial to think about. We should expand to international markets. It might be worth considering given our growth. Why don't you give it a try? You should attempt or test it. I think I can solve the problem. Why don't you give it a try and see? I would strongly advise. I recommend with a high level of urgency. Don't skip the safety measures. I would strongly advise against it it's risky. I'd recommend that you. I suggest that you should. You should consult an expert. I'd recommend that you seek professional advice. You might want to. You should consider. You should prepare for the presentation. You might want to start by organizing your notes. I suggest we. I propose that we. We should start the project now. I suggest we begin immediately. What about? What do you think of? We could meet at 3 p.m. How about we schedule the meeting for 3 p.m.? I propose I propose that. I suggest that. We should implement a new strategy. I propose we adopt a new strategy. What if we? How about if we? We could try a different approach. What if we attempt a different approach? If push comes to shove. If it becomes necessary or if things get difficult. We may need to take drastic action. If push comes to shove, we'll have to fire some employees. In a perfect world. In an ideal situation. In a perfect world, everyone would have access to education. If all else fails, if nothing else succeeds or works, we can try other methods, but if all else fails, we'll have to start over. Let's entertain the idea that. Let's consider the possibility that. We could improve our marketing. Let's entertain the idea that social media might help. Imagine if. Think about the hypothetical situation where. Imagine if we won the lottery. What would you do? Supposing that. Assuming that. Supposing that we get the funding. When can we start the project? In theory. In an ideal situation or hypothetically. In theory, this method should work but we need to test it. It's not beyond the realm of possibility. It's not impossible it could happen. Starting your own business is challenging, but it's not beyond the realm of possibility. It's a long shot, but it's unlikely to succeed, but we'll try. Winning the lottery is a long shot, but someone has to win eventually. Absolutely. An enthusiastic agreement. Should we go to the concert tonight? Absolutely. Without a doubt. No doubt or uncertainty. He's the best player on the team without a doubt. Precisely. Accurate and exact. Did you understand the instructions? Precisely. Indeed. Confirmation or agreement. It was a challenging hike. Indeed. Absolutely right. Completely correct. Your analysis of the situation is absolutely right. You hit the nail on the head. You are exactly correct. Your explanation was perfect. You hit the nail on the head. You're absolutely spot on. You're completely accurate. Your assessment of the problem is spot on. I couldn't agree more. I strongly agree with you. The proposal makes sense. I couldn't agree more. That's exactly what I think. My thoughts exactly. I believe we should invest in research and that's exactly what I think. You've got a point there. You've made a valid argument. I think we need more training. You've got a point there. It could improve our skills. It's a tough nut to crack. A challenging problem to solve. Solving this complex equation is a tough nut to crack. It's no walk in the park. It's not an easy or simple task. Writing a novel is no walk in the park. It takes dedication. It's a steep learning curve. A situation where one must quickly learn and adapt. Learning to play a musical instrument has a steep learning curve. It's a formidable challenge. A significant and difficult obstacle. Launching a successful business is a formidable challenge. It's like trying to find a needle in a haystack. A difficult and nearly impossible task. Locating the lost key in this mess is like trying to find a needle in a haystack. It's not for the faint of heart. It requires courage and resilience. Becoming a firefighter is not for the faint of heart. It's a real brain teaser. A problem or puzzle that requires deep thinking. This Sudoku puzzle in the newspaper is a real brain teaser. It's a labyrinth of complexity. A situation with intricate and confusing elements. Navigating through the legal system can be a labyrinth of complexity. It's a 
Herculean task and extremely difficult challenge. Cleaning the entire house in one day is a Herculean task. It's a tall order, a demanding or difficult requirement. Completing the project by tomorrow is a tall order. I'm flabbergasted. I'm extremely surprised or shocked. I'm flabbergasted by the unexpected results of the experiment. Well, I'll be darned. An expression of surprise or disbelief. Well, I'll be darned. I never thought I'd see you here. I'm utterly astounded. I'm completely amazed or shocked. I'm utterly astounded by the talent displayed in this performance. I can't believe my eyes or I can't believe my ears. I'm in disbelief about what I'm seeing or hearing. I can't believe my eyes. The view from this mountain is breathtaking. That's mind-blowing. Extremely impressive or astounding. The technological advancements in this field are mind-blowing. It's beyond belief. Unbelievably impressive or incredible. The success of their business is beyond belief. I'm godsmacked. I'm so surprised that I'm speechless. I'm godsmacked by the unexpected turn of events. I'm in awe. I'm filled with admiration or wonder. I'm in awe of the beauty of this natural wonder. I'm taken aback. I'm surprised or shocked by something unexpected. I was taken aback by the sudden change in his attitude. I'm speechless. I'm so amazed that I can't find the words to express it. I'm speechless after witnessing that incredible performance. It worked like a charm. It was successful and effective. The new software update work like a charm. The bugs are fixed. Everything fell into place. Everything happened as planned or expected. On our wedding day, everything fell into place perfectly. It was a resounding success. It was an overwhelming and impressive success. The product launch was a resounding success. We sold out within hours. We hit the jackpot. We achieved a great success or outcome. Our marketing strategy hit the jackpot. We sold everything. It was a stroke of genius. It was an exceptionally clever or brilliant idea. His decision to expand into international markets was a stroke of genius. We nailed it. We executed something perfectly or achieved success. Our team presentation went flawlessly. We nailed it. It couldn't have gone better. The outcome was as good as it could have been. Our anniversary celebration couldn't have gone better. Everyone had a great time. It's a game changer. It significantly alters or improves the situation. The invention of smartphones was a game changer in communication. We are on cloud nine. We are extremely happy or elated. After winning the championship, we were on cloud nine. We knocked it out of the park. We succeeded impressively or exceeded expectations. Our team's performance at the competition was outstanding. We knocked it out of the park. You're absolutely on the money. You're completely correct or accurate. Your analysis of the market trends is spot on. You're absolutely on the money. It's a daunting task. It's a task that appears challenging and intimidating. Completing the project on such a tight schedule seems like a daunting task. I'm absolutely blown away. I'm completely amazed and impressed. The art exhibition was stunning. I'm absolutely blown away by the talent of these artists. It exceeded our wildest expectations. It went beyond what we had hoped for. The response to our product launch exceeded our wildest expectations. Sales skyrocketed. What would happen if? What are the potential outcomes if? What would happen if we missed the deadline? Let's plan for it. We hit the bull's eye. We achieved the exact target or goal. Our marketing campaign hit the bull's eye. It resonated perfectly with our audience. We're on top of the world. We're feeling extremely joyful and victorious. After winning the championship, we're on top of the world. Break a leg. Do a good job. Good luck with your presentation break a leg. Come rain or shine. Something that you have to do no matter what. Come rain or shine, we will finish this assignment. Better late than never. It's better if something comes even if it's late. He gave in his assignment a bit late but his teacher said it's better late than never. The calm before a storm. A quiet period before something intense happens. There was a calm before the storm. It was quiet in the office 
before it started getting very busy. 100 business expressions for English learners. Bottom line, the final result or conclusion, often referring to profit or loss. The bottom line is that we need to increase sales to stay profitable. On the same page, in agreement or understanding about a particular topic. It's important that everyone is on the same page before we proceed with the project. Think outside the box. To think creatively or unconventionally to find solutions. We need to think outside the box if we want to innovate in this market. Ballpark figure, an approximate estimate or guess. Can you give me a ballpark figure? for the cost of the project. Get the ball rolling to start or initiate a process. Let's get the ball rolling on this project and schedule a kickoff meeting. In the red, operating at a financial loss. The company has been in the red for the past two quarters. Too much on my plate. When you feel overwhelmed or have too many tasks or responsibilities, you have too much on your plate. I can't take any more projects at the moment. I already have too much on my plate. Cutting edge at the forefront of innovation or technology. Our company prides itself on its cutting edge research and development. In the pipeline, something that is currently being developed or planned. We have several new products in the pipeline for the next year. Dot the I's and cross the T's to pay attention to small details and ensure everything is correct. Before we submit the proposal, let's make sure to dot the I's and cross the T's. Hit the ground running to start something quickly and energetically. We expect the new hire to hit the ground running and contribute to the team from day one. Call it a day to finish work or an activity for the day. It's been a long day. Let's call it a day and continue tomorrow. Raise the bar to set a higher standard or expectation. Our goal is to raise the bar and deliver even better results next quarter. All hands on deck. Everybody's assistance or involvement is needed. With the deadline approaching, we need all hands on deck to finish the project. Back to the drawing board to start over or go back to the beginning. The marketing campaign didn't resonate with customers. We'll have to go back to the drawing board. Get down to business to start focusing on the task or matter at hand. Let's stop chatting and get down to business. Close the deal to successfully complete a business agreement or transaction. After weeks of negotiation, we finally close the deal with the client. Go the extra mile to make an effort or do more than what is expected. If we want to win this contract, we'll need to go the extra mile to impress the client. Cut corners. Do something in the cheapest or easiest way, often sacrificing quality. We can't afford to cut corners on product testing if we want to maintain customer trust. Game changer. A game changer means something that has the potential to impact or transform a situation significantly. This new organization tool I'm using is a game changer for me. Throw under the bus. This is a common expression you might have heard in another context. It means to unfairly blame or sacrifice someone for your own benefit or to avoid responsibility. John tried to throw me under the bus by blaming me for the mistake during the presentation. Run it by someone to share or discuss something with someone to get their opinion or approval. Before we finalize the proposal, let's run it by the senior management team. Behind the scenes, work or activities that happen secretly or without being noticed. There's a lot of work that goes on behind the scenes to prepare for the product launch. The ball is in your court. It's your turn to take an action or make a decision. I've given you all the information you need. Now the ball is in your court. Think on your feet to respond quickly and effectively to a situation. During the presentation, 
you'll need to think on your feet if there are any unexpected questions. At the end of the day, ultimately, when everything has been considered. At the end of the day, we need to prioritize customer satisfaction. Cut to the chase to get to the main point without wasting time. Let's cut to the chase and discuss the key issues. By the book, according to established rules or procedures, we need to do this audit by the book to ensure compliance with regulations. In the loop, to be informed or involved in a particular situation or activity. Make sure to keep me in the loop on any developments. Put something on the back burner. To postpone or set aside something for later consideration. We'll have to put the new project on the back burner until we have more resources available. Touch base to make contact or reconnect with someone. I'll touch base with you next week to discuss the project. In the driver's seat, in control or in charge of a situation. As project manager, you're in the driver's seat. A win-win situation. A situation or outcome that benefits all parties involved. Negotiating a lower price with our supplier would be a win-win situation. Micromanage. Micromanaging can be the most annoying thing in the workplace. It's the practice of excessive or unnecessary control over small details of tasks or projects. I'm so annoyed with Susan. She micromanages everything I do. Back to square one. Back to the starting point or beginning. After the setback, we're back to square one. Workflow. Workflow refers to the sequence of steps or tasks involved in completing a specific process or project. The workflow for this project is insane. I don't know how I'll finish it on time. Catch someone's eye to attract someone's attention. The colorful display caught my eye as I walked past the store. Close ranks to unite or come together in a common cause. When faced with a crisis, the team closed ranks to find a solution. Draw the line to set a limit or boundary. We need to draw the line somewhere to avoid overextending ourselves. Ease someone's mind to make someone feel less anxious or worried. I'll reassure her that everything will be fine to ease her mind. Fit the bill to be suitable or meet the requirements. His qualifications fit the bill for the job. Get the hang of something to become skilled or proficient at something. It took a while, but I finally got the hang of using the new software. Go hand in hand to be closely associated or connected. Quality and customer satisfaction go hand in hand. Jump on the bandwagon to join others in supporting or doing something popular or trendy. Many companies are jumping on the bandwagon and investing in renewable energy. Move the needle. If someone moved the needle, they made significant progress or achieved something that positively impacted the situation. The celebrity that joined our marketing moved the needle. Now everyone is interested in our product. Leave no stone unturned to make every possible effort to search thoroughly. We left no stone unturned in our search for the missing documents. Make ends meet to have enough money to cover expenses to manage financially. With the rise in living costs, it's becoming harder and harder to make ends meet. Meet halfway to compromise or make concessions in order to reach an agreement. Let's meet halfway and find a solution that works for both of us. Mind your own business to refrain from interfering in other people's affairs. Why don't you mind your own business and let me handle this? Move the goalposts to change the rules or criteria for success. They keep moving the goalposts, making it impossible to reach their expectations. Navigate the waters to successfully manage or deal with a difficult situation. As a new manager, she had to navigate the waters of office politics. Off the top of my head, without preparation from memory. I can't give you an exact figure off the top of my head, but it's around $500. Play it by ear to improvise or make decisions as the situation develops. We don't have a strict schedule, so let's play it by ear 
and see how things go. On board. If you're on board with something, you agree with it. I spoke to their representative and they are on board with the project. Put someone in the hot seat. Question someone or put them under scrutiny. During the interview, they put me in the hot seat with some tough questions. Put your money where your mouth is. To back up your words with actions or financial support. If you believe in this project, you need to put your money where your mouth is and invest in it. Ride the wave to take advantage of a favorable situation or trend. The company rode the wave of success following the release of its new product. Ruffle feathers to upset or disturb someone. Her comments ruffled a few feathers at the meeting. Set the bar to establish a standard or expectation. As industry leaders, we aim to set the bar for excellence. Stay ahead of the curve to remain informed or prepared for future developments. We need to stay ahead of the curve by investing in emerging technologies. Stick to your guns to remain firm in your position or beliefs. Despite the criticism, she stuck to her guns and defended her decision. Take the bull by the horns to confront a difficult situation directly and with courage. It's time to take the bull by the horns and address this issue head on. B to B, business to business. Business between two companies rather than a company and an individual. We are a B2B brand. We sell software to marketing companies. Throw in the towel to give up or surrender. After years of struggling, he finally threw in the towel and closed his business. Toot your own horn to boast or brag about your own achievements. I'm not one to toot my own horn, but I think I did a great job on this project. Turn the tables to reverse a situation or shift the advantage to your own side. With a clever strategy, we were able to turn the tables and win the negotiation. Under the table, illegally or secretly, especially concerning payments or transactions. The company was paying employees under the table to avoid taxes. Up in the air, uncertain or unresolved. The project's future is up in the air until we receive funding. Up to speed, fully informed or updated. After reading the report, I'm up to speed on the latest developments. Weigh your options to consider different choices before making a decision. Take your time to weigh your options before committing. Work like a charm to be very effective or successful. Thanks for the advice. It worked like a charm. Brand awareness. Spreading the word about your brand as far and wide as you can, usually via social media or Google. Increasing brand awareness is the primary goal of our social media strategy. Proactive. To be proactive is to take the initiative on something, which usually means embarking on a new task yourself without waiting for your colleagues or boss to tell you to. It might mean taking the first step in contacting someone you are going to work with. I would really appreciate it if you could be proactive in attracting new clients, George. As of yet, this is very commonly seen in emails, but means at the moment. As of yet, we have no plans to hire a social media manager. ROI return on investment. The metric we calculate to see if the money we invested into something made us more money. Let's calculate our ROI to know if we made a profit from our investment. Unique selling proposition, USP. It's the trait that makes your product or service different from your competitors. Our USP is our eco-friendly packaging, which appeals to environmentally conscious customers. Close the sale to successfully convince someone to make a purchase. After overcoming the customer's objections, I managed to close the sale. Turnover, the rate at which employees leave a company and are replaced by new ones. The high turnover rate is a concern for the company's HR department. Blue collar worker, a worker who performs manual labor, often in a manufacturing or industrial environment. The factory employs many blue collar workers on the production line. White collar worker, a worker who performs professional, managerial, or administrative tasks. She works as a white collar worker 
in a corporate office. Freelancer, someone who is self-employed and works on a contractual basis for various clients. As a freelancer, she enjoys the flexibility of choosing her own projects. Networking, the process of interacting with others to exchange information and develop professional contacts. He attends networking events regularly to expand his business connections. Cold calling, the practice of making unsolicited phone calls to potential customers or clients. As part of our sales strategy, we're doing cold calling to generate leads. Pitch, a persuasive presentation or proposal to sell a product, service, or idea. He delivered a compelling pitch to secure funding for his startup. Due diligence. It is used to describe the action that is considered reasonable for people to take to stay safe and on the correct side of the law. We've done our due diligence in researching the candidates and none of the other contractors seem more qualified. Best practice is a method accepted to be the most effective way of doing something. The CEO decided that organized desks are best practice. In the black, operating at a financial profit, having positive profits. Thanks to cost cutting measures, the company is now in the black. Upskill to train. To some, upskilling sounds more youthful than training. We chose to upskill a junior employee rather than hire someone senior straight away. Blue ocean strategy. Finding new market spaces where competition is irrelevant or non-existent. Allowing for uncontested market dominance. By creating a product that combines the features of a tablet and a laptop, the company implemented a blue ocean strategy, tapping into a market segment that had previously been overlooked. Streamline. Simplify a process by eliminating unnecessary work. We need to streamline the archiving process. It's taking far too long to organize our files. Let go. It's a gentle way of saying employees are being fired or made redundant. It's more commonly used than fired since it's considered more polite. We need to let Simon go. He has been very late almost every day this month. Shift the paradigm. To change the fundamental way of thinking or approach to a problem. To succeed in this market, we need to shift the paradigm and focus on customer experience rather than just product features. Loss leader. A product sold at a loss to attract customers who are likely to buy another more profitable product. Supermarkets often sell popular items like milk or bread as loss leaders to get customers in the door, hoping they'll buy other higher margin products as well. Low hanging fruit, the easiest or most readily available goals or targets. Let's not overlook the potential of this new market. We should harvest the low hanging fruits before our competitors do. Break the glass ceiling. To overcome a barrier, especially a gender or racial barrier that prevents advancement or success. She's determined to break the glass ceiling and become the company's first female CEO. Get the buy in. To gain approval, agreement or support from others. Before we proceed, we need to get the buy-in from all our stakeholders. Push the envelope to go beyond the usual limits or boundaries, especially in innovation and creativity. Our company is known for pushing the envelope when it comes to product design. Run it up the flagpole to present an idea or proposal to see how others react to it. Let's run this marketing campaign idea up the flagpole and see if it gets any traction. Drink the Kool-Aid to become a firm believer in something, often to the point of being unquestioningly loyal or enthusiastic. After attending the conference, he started drinking the Kool-Aid and became a vocal advocate for the new strategy. Close the loop to complete a process or resolve an issue. Once we receive feedback from the customer, we can close the loop on this matter. Here are one 100 advanced English phrases for English learners, each with a brief meaning and example sentence. In particular, especially, I love fruits, in particular, apples. On the whole, generally, on the whole, the event was a success. As a matter of fact, 
in reality, as a matter of fact, I do know him. For instance, for example, for instance, she is very punctual. By and large, generally, by and large, he is a good student. In light of, considering, in light of recent events, we should reconsider. In the long run, over a long period, in the long run, it will be beneficial. On account of, because of, on account of the rain, the game was cancelled. To some extent, partially, to some extent, I agree with you. In the meantime, meanwhile, in the meantime, let's finish our work. As a rule, usually, as a rule, we don't work on Sundays. For the sake of, for the purpose of, I did it for the sake of peace. All things considered, considering everything, all things considered, it was a good decision. In view of, considering, in view of his behavior, he was punished. In terms of, regarding, in terms of price, it's a good deal. At first glance, initially, at first glance, the task seemed easy. For the time being, temporarily, for the time being, we will stay here. On the contrary, opposite, on the contrary, I think it's a bad idea. As far as, to the extent that, as far as I know, he is reliable. In due course, eventually, in due course, we will know the results. In other words, to rephrase, in other words, he is not coming. On the brink of, about to, they are on the brink of discovery. To the best of my knowledge, as far as I know, to the best of my knowledge, it's correct. In a nutshell, briefly summarized, in a nutshell, we were late. In the same vein, similarly, in the same vein, she also disagreed. For all intents and purposes, practically, for all intents and purposes, it's done. To be honest, frankly, to be honest, I don't like it. In hindsight, looking back, in hindsight, it was a mistake. In the event of, if something happens, in the event of rain, the match will be cancelled. At the end of the day, ultimately, or to conclude, at the end of the day, it's your choice. For the most part, generally, for the most part, it's a good plan. To some degree, partially, to some degree, I understand your point. In essence, basically, in essence, it's a good idea. At a loss, unable to decide, I'm at a loss for words. In the final analysis, ultimately, in the final analysis, it's a great movie. In the wake of, following, in the wake of the storm, many were homeless. In the midst of, in the middle of, she's in the midst of a busy workday. For the record, officially, for the record, I did not agree. By no means, not at all. By no means is it easy. In the nick of time, just in time, he arrived in the nick of time. In a bind, in trouble. She is in a bind with her finances. At this juncture, at this point, at this juncture, we should decide. In the interim, meanwhile, in the interim, I will handle it. In a manner of speaking, so to speak, 
He is a genius in a matter of speaking. To the best of my ability, as well as I can, I will do it to the best of my ability. In this regard, in this respect, in this regard, we need more information. For the sake of clarity, to clarify, for the sake of clarity, let's review it. In the absence of, without, in the absence of evidence, he was acquitted. In retrospect, looking back or reflecting on the past, in retrospect, it was a bad decision. In all likelihood, very probably, in all likelihood, he will win. In conjunction with, Together with, we are working in conjunction with them. In good faith, with honest intent, he acted in good faith. In the long term, over a long period, in the long term, it will be profitable. In due time, eventually, in due time, you will understand. In the context of, related to, in the context of education, it's crucial. 